It's a big week. Players report on Thursday. Fall camp starts on Friday. There's not a bigger grind as August fall camp because it's 25 practices in 29 days, just taking one day off a week. It's a lot. And then you dive right into the football season. The football season is just kind of like, thank goodness. Seven and six last season. Fifth in the SEC West beat Kansas in the Liberty Bowl. They were two and four in one score games. That's the difference, you know, making plays, critical situations. But Arkansas does have KJ Jefferson Here. back. They got Rocket Here. Sanders, who is arguably the best running back, the best running back in the SEC, in my opinion. He's also gotten bigger, faster, stronger. The secondary has improved dramatically, and they've made some needed coaching changes at the coordinator position. But a guy who I don't think gets nearly enough national respect, KJ Jefferson of Arkansas. Um, I'm excited to see what he can do this year. Uh, he's got a lot of experience under his belt. Uh, new system there at Arkansas as well. Lane, this is a team that it's got some firepower in the backfield on offense. It's well coached and it's got a lot of dudes that hit the floor really, really hard. And I think a team primed for an interesting year. All right, let's go here. Uh, weight room. In, in the spring, we had 23 guys that were late or missed weights in the summer we had seven okay what's that tell you about this football team it's important to you we're working we're working towards a goal right but we took it down from 23 to seven we had 88 percent of the guys make it on time every day we can take these numbers to any damn team you want to maybe not the green bay packers but we can take this damn t number to anybody you want to and we got as good a numbers as they do we do i'm telling you because I want you to believe. I know you believe, but I want you to really damn believe. This is our damn year. That's what it is. You've worked off a of hard, clean numbers. You know, winning is, is in the details. It's the small things. When I took this job, I went back and watched every single game. And just, it was great teams don't beat themselves. And last year, we let too many games slip away that were self-inflicted wounds. And to me, that was just little things of attention to detail. Four games decided by nine points. You win those four games, you're right there in the neck of it to, to play for the SEC championship. All I want, great energy for an hour and a half. All right, we've gotten better every day this summer. All right, we only know one way, and that's up. Everybody got me? Uh, Coach Souders, he's a great guy, really energetic. He brings the juice every day. And uh, he's a hard worker as well. I mean, every workout he puts us through, he makes sure to put himself through as well. So. Uh, I mean, he pushes himself every day, and I wouldn't want to work with the, any other strength coach. Coach Souders and staff, man, the best in the business in terms of getting the team prepared physically and mentally uh, with an all-season conditioning program. All right, hold on. Look how short your base is. Widen your base. Right there. Now, now I got a power base. Yeah, see? Better. Better. You got more to pull. Come on, team. I promise it'll pay off. I promise it'll pay off. Come on. Uh, they push us hard every day day in, day out. Uh, it requires maximum effort, 100%, nothing more, nothing less. Up! Oh. It's easy. It's easy. It's easy! Work with uh, this offseason with Coach Souders, I think it's been like a tremendous change. You can tell how the team was from my year compared to now. Everyone's bought in a little bit more. You see a lot of other guys hanging out with guys they didn't necessarily hang out when it was January. So just the team camaraderie's improved, the morale. Uh, Coach Saudis has been amazing. Uh, he's working us to death, but <laughs> he doesn't let you quit or he doesn't want to see you quit. And he's going to push you to make sure that you can finish everything that he puts in front of you. Come on, believe in yourself. Let's go. You got it. Come on. I just go down go, and go, go, find go. a way back up. So, I mean, he really just pushes you to hit numbers you don't think you can hit. The bodies of the guys have really changed. They are bigger, faster, and stronger than they were at the beginning of the summer, without a doubt. Lana's a great kid. Lana's a hard worker. You know, he was playing at like 238 for the bowl game, and now he's like 280, 283. But he's made an emphasis of, you know, not missing any meals, eating good, solid foods, eating them consistently, no drop off. I had to eat a whole lot. I mean, my, my favorite meal that I think has honestly got me to this point would be a ribeye, a filet, a plate of mashed potatoes. Not a plate, but like a about two, three scoops of mashed potatoes, and then uh, asparagus. And 
I mean, throughout this spring till now, I've, I've probably, I'll say I'd eat that three times a week. And then, I mean, a lot of grilled chicken, stuff like that. I try getting a lot of protein every day. Also a lot of carbs. And I mean, you just gotta eat big to get big. He's just been more locked in, wants to always do more than, than what we ask him. We kind of have to pull him back as opposed to, to make him giddy up. And that, that's a good thing, you know, and that's where we need our team to continue to get, which we've really, really come a long ways. But uh, those are good signs because the kid wants to be great. Uh, and I'm really excited to see what he does for us this year. Yeah, I mean, I feel very confident in this way. I, I would. I don't think I'd want to play any lighter than this weight, honestly. I think uh, this is the perfect weight for what our defense wants me to do, and I'm, I'm excited to see how I play at this weight and speed. We're going into camp ready to go, okay? All right, I'm bragging on you because this, all right? Our, our player loads, all right, are higher than the last one or the last week that we had when we won the national championship when I was at Georgia, all right? And I'm not, I'm not trying to compare, but what I'm saying is, all right, our speeds collectively, all right, are higher than what they were when I was there. We won. Player load, higher than what we were. So we're working harder, okay? So I'm telling you that because we're working harder and we got just as much talent, all right, as the champion had, okay? So it's there, all right, but we got to continue to do it. That's what I'm challenging you with, okay? And I'm bragging on you because you deserve it. You worked your butt off. All summer you worked it. All year we've talked about something to prove. All summer, right? That's what we talked about, all right? The guys that went to SEC media days, all right? Well, Landon, Rocket, KJ, okay? This is what they had up at the SEC media days, all right? So what have they got us projected in our side? Fifth, right? It's on the left side, all right? Now look at that one on the right side, okay? Look at that on the right side. What percent does that, they say that we got a chance to win the West? All right, so that's less than what percent? One, all right? I don't know about y'all, but that pisses me off, all right, and it should piss you off. I ain't playing no plays, but I sit here, our staff has watched your work nonstop, relentless, ever since January, okay? You've worked your butts off. Y'all worked harder than you've ever worked. Would y'all agree? All right, so let's go, let's go uh, let our work do the talking. Bring it up, all right, break us down. All right, get us, Nico. Work. We're excited about getting it going. It's going to be hot. We understand that. We have adjusted our times. Uh, we're going to go in the a.m. Uh, with it being over 100 degrees. You know, we're trying to approach camp on us, you know, and us getting better. Um, again, we still have a lot of new faces. Uh, and that's not only on uh, the kids, but the coaching staff, you know. And most of our guys obviously went through spring ball with our new staff. But we still have quite a few that we've got to figure out if they're going to help us or not this year, too. But I don't, I don't think. Um, you know, our deal is is that, um, in all honesty, we didn't play well against the teams that we were favored to beat. And uh, so we lost that chip at times. And so we have to uh, coach that way. We have to feel that way and all those things. So we just got to get back to old um, Arkansas football. Hey, hey, you only get to make one first impression. You only get one first impression, 2023. Ready, ready, cut, cut, cut. This is my year to do big and great things. Destined to be great. Put on for the state. I love you for staying with me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, KJ's been great. You know, the way he throws the ball, the way he runs the ball, the way he makes plays. He got better, not even just on the field, but being a leader. All the team respects him uh, for what he's done and um, the man that he is. I'm, I'm the guy, uh, I got to run the show, and uh, everybody looks up to me on the team. So being that, that leader, being that, the main guy, just being able to just model myself and act like a pro. Where they at? Hmm. Ooh, that boy felt like you signed low, coming out the block. Whoa. Hold that team ready. Hold that team ready. Next time. Oh. Z, eh, ha, ooh, ready, do it. One, four, five, my personality, I mean, just being able to be me. Uh, work, work, mm, 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 uh, work, mm. My ass out here, man. See, I'm third in mound. With nine, two, three. 
That's the natural state for you. Natural state, natural heat. I feel like that's the biggest thing about becoming a leader is being yourself. Uh, the people respect you more for just being yourself. So me just being me, my personality, just drive people towards me. And then just once I got everybody attention, just being able to give a good message, a great message, and uh, make sure that I'm instilling them with good knowledge that I have. I bet you don't know who painted the original Picasso. Who? Picasso? Nope. Rembrandt? Nope. Who? Michelangelo. He did? Yep. Wasn't he one of the turtles, Ninja Turtles? I don't even know who Michelangelo is. Michelangelo. <laughs> it just He's sounds like one of them ancient names. Who was the other Ninja Turtles? Donatello. Donatello. Leonardo. Leonardo, Leonardo. DiCaprio. Raphael. Yeah, Raphael. Raphael. There was one named uh, Dan Eno. <laughs> here we go. Go right here. Two minutes, 42 seconds. One time out. We need a touchdown. Four verts. Take him beat. I'm good, though. Take him beat. First play. Aggressive. Mm -mm. Cut! What? I told you I was going to go. James! We'll connect on it. If anything goes wrong, you know, it all, it all falls back on him. So to take the heat for everything, you know, that's, that's been great. And I've seen him do it uh, day in, day out. He's just a great guy to be around, great quarterback, and he's going to do great things this year. Man, wasn't that fun? That was fun. There's intensity out there. There's this, that, and the other. We got a hell of a group of guys, man. It's so much fun being around you and seeing the new guys, seeing the old guys getting by stopping Tyrus. He got a lot better since then last spring. It's just a lot of fun. Get your recovery. Hell of a first day. We love you. Thanks for being on time. Break it down. Let's get out. Hey, how's up three? How's up three? One, two, three. Oh. You good? Yes, sir. Make sure y'all get recovery. And make sure y'all see the film before we go in and watch it as a team, bro. Make sure y'all watch it on y'all own. Hey, slime on three. One, two, three. Slime. We only have one expectation. That's the championship. Not much, pretty much more to be said. We won uh, seven games last year. I want to say we lost four by 10 points. So yeah, we, we got something to prove this year. And that's that's right there, Coach Souders, that, that's that's our um, tag for the season, our, our, our motto. Something to prove, because we got something to prove. Well, I'm here to work with your coaches, support staff, to create opportunities for you to have success. And I promise you this, if you take and make the most of those opportunities, you're gonna have success. You have to try hard as hell to fail here at the University of Arkansas because we're gonna set you up for success. I promise you that. You understand that? So take the next three weeks and make the most of this opportunity. Not gonna be easy. Next three weeks is pretty hard. But make the most of that so that when we kick off in September, well, we're going to start rolling this football season. We're going to have another special football season here at the University of Arkansas, okay? I ain't going to lie, I've been a great vibe. You know, I've been here for, what, two years so far, going on my third year. I feel like, I ain't going to lie now, I feel like i probably say this is the best year so far, just off-season-wise. I feel like a lot of people want to be here. Just go out there, um, play hard, play your hearts out, uh, play for each other, play for the name on the back of your jersey, and uh, just play for the state. I mean, just. That's the main thing. I mean, you want to go out each and every game. You want to try to win each and every game. I mean, of course, that's the ultimate goal. But as this team, we just want to be able to perfect the small details and just become one to know each and every week. Yeah, I know we we made it to a bowl game, won the bowl game, but that's not enough for us. I mean, a lot of teams might be like, "Oh, that was a good year," but for us, that's that's, that's that wasn't that wasn't the year that we that we know we needed. So this year is more so just capitalizing on those close games, uh, pulling those off and just playing good football, not making too many mistakes. And I mean, both sides of the ball staying together as the games go on. I feel like the new guys bring a lot of energy, you know, and just, I feel like everybody know they roll. And I feel like by knowing they roll, we gonna win. Here we go, here we go, let's go to work. Say it, go. It's like nailing uh, nails in your, in your hips. So I'm just here, beep, 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 and then break. So just relax. Don't strain yourself. Here we go, let's go to work. Stay down that line, break. Keep my hands up. Hands up. Yeah, we're going to work. Say, go, hands up. Hey, really focus on, really focus on your, your hands and chest. All right, here we go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Here. Good, good, here. Good, here. Go, hold it, hold it. Good, but we want to control it. That third one, control it, control it, control it. Good, here. Hold it, hold it, hold it, disengage. 
good, you can set them up. And I like, that was one of my favorite moves because I, I was, you know what I'm saying, pretty strong. Right? From there, now you can hear, hear with it. But my favorite move was this. They'll never know it. I would switch my feet. Because usually if you're right here, if you want to go under, one, two, three, that's three steps. If I know I'm going under, I'm going to switch my feet. One, two, under. Hey, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Tell y'all, I got to get some frozen grapes. Tell y'all. These came from hidden. You, you think you'll go to heaven. I ain't gonna tell y'all who told me that. 